Okay, so now that we've done the spray nozzles, let's, uh, let's take out this washer fluid tank and just make sure that it's clean inside so that we don't run the risk of reclogging our brand new nozzles with any crud that may be in here. So let's see if we can take this guy off to check. In order to remove the washer fluid tank, according to the Bentley manual at least, you need to remove this hose clamp to the filler hose, this cap that contains the feed and return lines to the pump, and that bolt way over there that's holding the tank into the inner wheel well. And then down at the bottom, remove this clamp right here. Then the tank should drop out. go might need a bucket maybe <laughs> just dust and dirt okay Nothing's broken. This cap is tough. to give it a gentle twist with uh, these channel locks, not too hard. There we go. A little quarter turn there. All right. We gotta finish taking that that ten millimeter bolt off back here. We're detached up top. Now we have to detach from the bottom. This is a 10 millimeter up here, and this bottom one looks like it's a 13. So hmm. Keep this right here, please. 
case we need it. Is it 13? Or is it a 14? Might be a 14. This bolt has not turned in a long time. I can tell. This bolt is really um this bolt head is right up against the the strap of the clamp so I can't get a socket over it. So I have to use an open-ended wrench and do like a half turn at a time. How about now? Oh, thank goodness. Whoa. Okay. All right. Oh, geez. Okay. This clamp comes off. Bolt comes off of the clamp. And now this bad boy should uh, come out somehow. <laughs> Let's see really tight fit it's a weird shaped tank that's why um, it's tough to get it out oh man there's some other stuff back there too <laughs> you can hear all the fluid sloshing around inside okay there is some wiring here for okay there's like a there's a an additional pump down here that I think is for the headlamp washing system so um, yeah let's see let's take a look at that once it's out oh my god Okay. Well, um, there's two terminals for this pump that I think goes to the headlamp and uh, are the headlamp washers. And uh, I just pulled the plug off or it sort of crumbled off. Oh no, the rubber gasket crumbled off. And now we're leaking from the bottom of the tank, which is not good. Maybe we have a leaky tank now and we have to replace it. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. Sometimes you gotta create, not create more problems, but uh, fix everything you can while you're in there so you don't have to fix it again. Oh, fun. There are, there's another hose here. It's going to be very difficult to get to. 
Oh no, this is the, the line. It's obvious. So now we're underneath the tank. Here's the front fog light. So we're in the front corner of the car. These lines are preventing me from taking the tank out. And these I think go to the headlamp washer system over here behind, directly behind the fog lamp. So let me see if I can unhook these unhook this line and leave the harness hanging and then withdraw the tank. There you go. I had one of these uh, releasable zip ties holding the lines together and now I can get Get a flat screwdriver on this hose. Okay, the hose is off. This is a very cramped corner of the car. Porsche sure knows how to pack a lot of stuff in small spaces. That's for sure. Oh, there we go. Wee. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna drain the whole tank here. So this hose that I just disconnected is a big rubber hose, supply hose, I think. It goes to the headlamp washers. It's at the lowest part of the tank, and the tank is full. So, so yeah, we're bleeding uh, pretty clear um, washer fluid. Doesn't look too cruddy. Let me see if I can get this tank out of here. That's spilling too much on the floor. Okay, this is our suction line for the windshield washers with a little filter on it. Everything else is disconnected. Let's see. Oh, this is heavy. There we go. There, now you can see. We can plug this guy up. All right. Yeah, this giant hose here goes to the washers Whoa. and is at a pretty low point in the tank. This additional pump here goes to those uh, washers. I mean, to the, yeah, the headlamp washers. And uh, this looks like we need a new grommet. And there's a bunch of crud in here. But, um, Yeah, let's, I don't know that this is OE hose. I think this might be like dishwasher line or something. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Let me drain the tank from the top. Boy, this holds a lot of fluid. Oh my God. Jesus.
This is uh, what, like five gallon bucket. This thing holds maybe two gallons. There's about two gallons of fluid in here, I think. Man. Here's another view of the tank. We're looking at the side view. This curved part obviously goes um, against the wheel right here. This part faces forward. It's got a really weird shape to fit all up in this corner of the, the, the front of the car. And that clamp, this big clamp that I had to release from the bottom goes over this narrow portion here. Then tucked in away from, from view is the pump and this hose that was holding up that was uh, snagging the tank was snagging on it and not allowing us to take it out um, <clears throat> while I was moving the tank around trying to get it out I think I disturbed this rubber seal that goes between the pump and the tank and it started dribbling a little bit I'm hoping it's just a seal that I disturbed and not a crack in the plastic tank somewhere um, but we'll <clears throat> we'll check that out later uh, more importantly we wanted to clean this guy out to make sure that there's no crud in here that will clog up the the uh, washer nozzles and I had recently filled the tank up with washer fluid and actually the fluid that came out is uh, fairly new but more importantly there's no sludge or other um, heavy crud in it <clears throat> I think the sediment you see on the bottom is uh, all dust that was packed in here that kind of fell that was you know all around here and that fell into the the tank just now or into this bucket rather because when I and let's see if we can get a... Okay, this is the interior of the tank. And, I mean, there's a little bit of stuff down there, but not a whole lot. You can see me swishing it back and forth, but in general, it's a pretty clean tank. I've seen other video, um, other images, rather, of people taking apart their system, and they had like a weird green sludge like like algae or slime on the bottom of their tanks and that's why um, it's a good idea to drain um, drain the reservoir out and make sure that it's nice and clean but in this case it looks like we're we actually were we're okay to begin with so I'm gonna go ahead and um, <clears throat> probably Hose this off, scrub it down, rinse it internally and externally, um, outside in the daylight. And um, take this pump off and do a little more research to see if there's a seal that I need to put, put back in here so that I can at least install this with a brand new seal on this ready to go so that I can do the um, um, headlamp washers at a, at a later date. But uh, yeah, this is... Good, good news overall. This tank looks looks like it's uh, um, nice and nice and clean, at least on the inside. So I've managed to figure out how to take the headlamp washer pump off. So first, I removed this boot, electrical uh, boot that was up here or whatever's left of it. I pulled it out. Then a bunch of dust came out. This is really gross. I can see why these tanks get so full of debris. Um, <clears throat> then I was able to twist, twist the pump around, <clears throat> get a trim tool, and sort of wedge it in here and on the back of the body of the pump. And then I was able to pull it out. And then the pump came out with this... Uh, kind of integrated pickup tube of sorts and um, <clears throat> there is this really bad really garbage uh, rubber boot in here it looks like those gaskets that you see on the on the top of a 
master cylinder. It, it, it could even be the same part number, who knows? But it's very similar. It's pressed in there and then the pickup tube for the pump goes in here. We're gonna have to test this pump out. I have no idea if they even still make these. And this one, come on, phone focus. This one still says, made in Germany. So, who knows, it might still be good. Anyway, now that we have this guy off, I can wash this sink and then see what we do next after that. Remember our little friend here in the frunk, the uh, windshield washer pump? Well, as long as we're here destroying stuff, we may as well take the pump out, um, clean it out, make sure there's no crud in here as well, and just um, be sure that our system is 100% clean um, before we put it back together and start running our, our new windshield washer nozzles. Uh, I went ahead and labeled, because I have a terrible memory, I went ahead and labeled this hose the left one because the other one is automatically the right one and I did the same thing to the two connectors up here just labeled the left but we should be able to just take these guys off come on well yeah well first let's take it off Can pull these little standoffs, slide them off of the metal bracket, and now you can. There's, I think there's three of them. Slide the one in the back off. Okay, if you're careful, you can slide off the rubber standoffs while leaving them still intact. Slide them out of these slots, and then you can disconnect the hoses and the electrical connectors and retrieve the pump out of here and it looks like I've got some rust under my battery tray here I better fix it soon before it eats up the rest of my car so after doing some research I just found out that this tank right above the windshield washer um, fluid tank is the fuel expansion tank so um, while I'm in here, since this is only accessible after you remove the uh, washer fluid tank, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out, clean behind it because there's all sorts of dirt and crud stuck between the tanks and the wheel well. And I'm going to replace these hoses because this one looks pretty old and this one up here is uh, broken so it's leaking fuel vapor and uh, yeah we don't want that. So I just dropped the fuel expansion tank and this is how, how you remove it. It attaches to the car with the same bolt as the um, windshield washer reservoir uh, tank, except on this tank it's at the bottom. Once you remove that bolt and you remove the, 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 the small uh, fuel vapor line on top and the big fuel vapor line on the bottom, you can slide it off of this this round this round uh, um, grooved post fits into that um, that slotted uh, receiver up there but right now it's all covered up in crud once you have the tank out you may as well clean all clean as much of the surfaces back here as you can. Um, it's mostly just dirt, caked on dirt. See, that's been kicked up by the tire. So I'm gonna get in here with a brush and uh, a rag and a bucket of water and uh, clean all this stuff up and uh, clean, clean these tanks off too. Boy, talk about so close yet so far. Do you see that 
that tube looking thing there, that horizontal tube, that's the headlight washer nozzle assembly. And it's tucked between the, the inside of the bumper and the turn signal housing. It's kind of in that little crevice over there. And it's so close, but there's a bunch of stuff in the way. You might be able to install, you might be able to replace this one on the driver's side, um, but the, I checked on the one on the passenger side, there's just no way you're gonna get in there without removing um, the stuff that's in the way. The horns, oil cooler, or follow the book, which is to remove the front bumper. So if you're feeling adventurous, go ahead and try it. It's in here, but otherwise we're gonna have to save this for another video because it's already getting way too long. So I ordered some parts and um, while those get delivered, let's uh, test out the, the two pumps in our system here. This one is a headlight washer pump, and this one is the uh, windshield washer pump. This guy, Porsche original, it's got the seal on it. Um, I have no idea if it works, and there doesn't seem to be an easy way to take it apart and put it back together reliably. So we're just gonna test it out, maybe hook, and, uh, hook it up to a 12 volt power supply, see if it even works. This guy though, is the windshield washer one and um, original VDO one from 1982 September 1982 <laughs> and uh, apparently you know I read a a build thread on um, Pelican parts where someone took this one apart to make sure that it didn't have any crud in it so we're gonna see if we can take this one apart see if there's any garbage in there and uh, if there is, we'll clean it out. This is a five and a half millimeter socket, by the way. I didn't even know I had sockets this big, but. Pretty cool, it'd be nice to be able to save this pump. It's got the beautiful um, yellow cat plating on it. lived a fairly gentle life sitting inside the trunk not exposed to the the elements like like this guy so let's see what's in here there's a pump pump uh, some sort of a little shaft thing here is the mounting plate this looks to be uh, An impeller. I think there's a little. This is the pump housing itself. This is just the motor. And uh, somewhere in here is a little um, impeller to uh, suck the fluid in from one side and push it out the other side. I didn't see any garbage in. There's no way to take this apart to see if there's any. Oh shoot, you can't take it apart. Wow, look at that. a positive displacement pump very cool okay this looks like a plate of some kind with um, a little bit of green garbage in there not not too bad look at that very cool so I'm just gonna um, I think put a little bit of grease back in here for the the pump gears and seal it back up. Pretty cool though. I was not expecting this level of detail in this tiny pump. <laughs> These cars surprise me more and more every day. They were built with a different mentality. I'm willing to bet you windshield washer pumps look nothing like this nowadays in modern cars. 
Very cool. So I'm going to lube this up and put it back together. So I've cleaned off the internals with some carb cleaner, mostly to get the seal and this backing plate cleaned off since there was a little bit of corrosion on here. All I'm going to do is put a little bit of silicone paste on the drive gears so they spin smoothly against this plate and a little bit on the seal itself or gasket rather so it doesn't leak and our little friend here Mr. Windshield Washer the pump should be good for another hopefully 37 more years We'll give it a quick test run right now, see how it performs. All right, nice and snug, not too hard, so we don't strip the threads, and that's it. You've just rebuilt a video windshield washer pump. Let's see if our little rebuilt windshield washer pump still works. I've got it wired up to a 12 volt power supply here and I put a, a pair of junk vacuum lines I had just laying around into a bucket with some of the old windshield washer fluid that I drained out of the tank earlier. And uh, now let's see if we can get this thing to, to pump. Works pretty well. That's the ball. No leaks. Pump is bottom of the pump is nice and dry. So this guy's good to go. Let's try the headlight washer pump now. I don't really have a hose is big enough for this, so we're just gonna have to dunk it in here. This is where it where it sucks up the fluid, and this is the this is the inlet and the outlet. So I think I could just dunk it in here and uh, see what happens. Let's see, the terminals are labeled minus and plus. So. Minus and plus. A little bit dangerous here. My terminals are short. And I've got a bucket of liquid here. I don't want to cause any 
Oof. Any problems? Let's see how this works. Nope. Doesn't even spin. And then the short circuit light turns on on my power supply, so I think the pump might be shorted out internally. Yeah, and there's no way to... I mean, it's got little tangs in here, but... I don't know if this is rebuildable or not, to be honest. It's a shame because the other pump was beautiful and it was rebuildable and it's still good. But this guy, which is original Porsche, is no good anymore. Probably due to exposure to the elements, just hanging out under the wheel well for 37 years. Fortunately, new ones are like, I think, 17 bucks. Um, so, yeah, let's just order a new one and and uh, move on. So while I was waiting for some parts to come in, I went ahead and cleaned up our two tanks. Um, they were actually fairly easy to clean up. Mostly just dirt and um, a little bit of kind of road grime on there, but nothing too serious. Thankfully, there's no oil coolers or um, you know other sources of heavy grease in that particular wheel well, so uh, they were very easy to clean. Also took a good look and uh, checked for any cracks around the fittings, and they all seem to be uh, in pretty good shape. So these are ready to uh, reassemble and uh, put back in the car. So here's some of the parts that we'll be re replacing on the remainder of the, of the rebuild. These are the two uh, breather lines that go in and out of the uh, fuel vapor expansion tank. So, you know, these are all obviously crumbled and messed up. So I got a couple meters of the larger diameter hose and the smaller diameter hose, just to have some extra on hand in case we need it. This, um, this headlight washer pump, as you know, was dead. And uh, I was able to get a, uh, a replacement unit and I was very apprehensive that uh, I would get a end up with a low quality unit but this one is a Hella brand one and it's actually made in Germany so I'm very hopeful that this is uh, gonna last a long time so there's that one as well and the little rubber donut seal that goes in between that goes over this shaft and into the hole at the bottom of the tank um, you know, the OE one is actually in decent shape. It's nice and pliable and seems tight. Um, but I went ahead and picked up an extra one anyway, just in case. I'm still not sure which one I'm going to put back in, but um, I will assemble the tank with the donut and the pump in it and then fill it up with water and leak test it to see if, if there's a difference and whichever one is more leak proof is the one I will go with. Also, if you remember this um, pump boot that was sort of on top of here and it's supposed to protect the um, electrical connections from the elements in the wheel well there. Well, this piece is all obviously no good anymore. And it turns out those are not available anymore from uh, any supplier. Uh, and I got very, very lucky and was able to find a brand new OE Porsche unit from someone on eBay. And it even comes with extra um, little plugs. These are the plugs that go on the, uh, the two wires that go onto this, uh, the two terminals here. So um, that's, that, uh, that's good to go. This pump is rebuilt, so we don't need to worry about this guy for another 30 years. And uh, while I was in there shopping, I went ahead and got this washer tank filler uh, cap. If you open the fuel door and you see the uh, gas cap right next to it is this uh, filler. And uh, my 
original cap is all yellow and dingy and I think it may be falling apart here in the middle so we might uh, replace that. And lastly I picked up some additional windshield washer uh, pump fluid um, hose just in case we run into any issues putting the uh, you know reconnecting the hose back on here. Um, I went ahead and picked up some extra just in case we uh, in case we need it. Otherwise we're ready for reassembly. Let me show you guys my leak testing setup for the washer fluid tank. So we've got the tank full to the top with water. And I've assembled the, the new pump with the new donut seal into the tank. And I'm actually not going to test the old seal because the new seal was a much tighter fit to the pump than this one was. So overall, those are three very tightly fitting components. And it was very, it took quite a bit of force to get them to seat um, into this position. So I'm not gonna disturb that seal. Um, also, I've moved over the old headlight fluid hose to the new pump as well. And I just plugged it with a Sharpie because it happened to fit. So we have no, um, no leaking from here or anywhere really. And I believe this is the, the, water the maximum water pressure that this system will see with the tank full all the way to the very top. So at this point, there are no, no leaks, no drips, no weeping of any kind. So this, um, this tank and pump assembly is now ready to go back into the car.